In this video, I'm just going to go through the different solo modes and solo safe. Firstly, going up to the top, go to options and scroll down, you'll see you've got solo mode. The standard setup is solo in place so that when you select a solo on a channel, it will then isolate it. And then you've got latch or X or which cancels previous solo. This one can be really handy actually when you're chopping and changing and you want to isolate things quickly because every time you press the solo, it will then cancel the previous one and solo that one. Whereas the latch one, if you solo something and then solo something else, uh, they both become soloed. Uh, so let me just demonstrate. So if I leave it with latched and just click on this one, for example, I'm listen I'll be listening to that. And if I hit this one, that then becomes soloed as well. Whereas if I go up to the top here again and change it so that it is the cancels previous, then as soon as I do this, you'll see that it changes. But if I hold the shift and click, I can then isolate um, or have more than one, should I say, uh, in terms of solos. So that's the solo modes. As I say, this one is really handy because you can just click around very quickly and do the soloing. Now, the other thing to be aware of is what's called solo safe. Now, this is particularly useful and worth knowing when you start getting into using submixes through the auxes. So the aux channel, you've got to remember that the aux channel is the same kind of channel as these audio channels here and any bus effects you use. However, when you start pressing solo, you may find that you're not hearing anything because all of a sudden, remember, this is still part of the chain as well. And we would have to technically have this soloed all the time uh, in order for us to be able to hear what's coming through because all these channels are being routed to this auxiliary and then from this auxiliary to the main out. However, what we can do is do a thing called solo safe and by command and clicking on the solo safe, it means now that whatever is soloed here, it will still be routed through this and it, was, it kind of ignores it on this channel. So now that means that when you start doing your soloing on and listening out for certain instruments, they will play through this channel. So just a quick recap, we've covered the solo modes. So solo in place, you've got latch, which is the traditional sort of or default one whereby you click it and then it just latches them on. You've then got the X or, which is the cancels the uh, solo. So just go back to that quickly and then change that. So now I can click around and it will then cancel whatever I've soloed and then shift click if I want more than one channel. And then finally, solo safe, which is then the isolation. So it ignores any solos and that the audio still plays through. And that's just using command and clicking on S. And there we go, solos.